Alright, so just for uh, maybe uh, fast forwarding and cutting this up to make things shorter, this is the beginning of part two of the granite albino Burmese python here at Swords and Dreams Reptile Rescue. 7143 West Greenfield Avenue, West Dallas, Wisconsin, 53214. <laughs> notches in it right there for the tip. I'm sure another sort of
I watch a lot of those type of movies. <laughs> I'm watching your uh is that a python? Yeah. Trying to eat his lunch. Yeah. And he'll probably be good for a month or whatever. Oh, yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of snakes, well fed snakes being killed by rats. It's a pretty little the snake is hungry, but the rats are hungry. Because people are stupid and they're eating them there. They don't fret. I'm right there. You know, people are afraid of the rodents that they're eating to the snakes. Yeah. And it's like, you know, how the hell can you have a snake? And you're afraid of the rodent that you're supposed to be feeding. Well, because they got the snake for the wrong reasons. They got it to so that they can cool. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what I'm against. Well, same and thing with dogs. We educate or we're going to lose our rights to own animals, plain and simple. Yeah. And the truth of it is they're already banning things and doing things they should because People are disrespecting their rights and they're just releasing them into the wild and stuff. And really, it's sad. We're wrecking our, our ecosystem by taking them away from the ones halfway across the world and re releasing them in the non main areas. Just this morning, I had somebody bring in what they thought was a painted turtle with some kids. We're trying to uh, re release him in the wild yesterday. The old man got mad and, of course, took the turtle from him because he knew that the turtle would probably die because it takes time for him to go into that procedure of hibernation, you know. And unfortunately, or fortunately, the turtle did get caught by the old man. It wasn't released because the kids caught it, I guess, during the summer. And, uh, during the summer months, they decided that it was a great idea, but now they don't want it unless they want to release it. So the old man had to catch him right before. And uh, he took the turtle from him and brought him to me. I'm glad that he did, because it is an Indian Wisconsin native. It's another Florida regular spider that someone released probably last season. These kids caught it, brought it home. Then they were going to re release it again. And this old man stopped him. I'm glad he did, but it's, it's non native. It wouldn't have survived, and besides that, it's non native. It doesn't belong there. We don't need ornate turtles because these turtles will start to breed with each other and wreck start because the little jig bug will have in Florida with the pythons and that thing. Yep. Uh, fish, 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 fish. What I would do if I was you is come up to a box. You don't want to be getting any more damage than they already are. This one's worth more than this one, and this one here, at least has kind of the traditional wrap. These hilts tell stories about where they came from and stuff. I just don't know that much about them. So that we went out and it came apart in the heart. And then it's like, well, uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Especially at my, uh, my aunt's husband, and he gave him a little bit of a and to, and to let you know, some of these swords sell for $100, some of them sell for $30,000. So, you know, you're going to have to try and figure out how to find a dealer again, make sure the kid understands that you know, there's, an, there's an opportunity there that these swords can be worth, you know, a hundred dollars or a couple thousand. Yeah, so when it comes to that, it's uh, it's the buyer's market. I don't care what a book says, it depends on what somebody's willing to pay for it. You know, we have two different stacks of cards which are basically the same. You know, if you want bumper stickers, you want them. Uh, no, I don't put bumper stickers on. They can take a couple down if you want, and then to whoever down there. It's up to them. They can pick them up. If they want, you know, they can put those in the back this way. I'll be more than happy to put them in my place because over the years, and even before Terry Cohen got in trouble, some folks at the Humane Society have started to send folks my way. Yeah. I work with the zoo and stuff, and I work with the VR now, and so 
it is starting to advance itself into a different area. I'm hoping that things will continue, you know, but uh, at this point, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Amazing how far they can open those jaws. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> and that's a 15 pound rabbit, so what's going to happen is. He's going to crush it down a bit, mm -hmm. but once he gets it past that uh, that that shoulder, it's over. It'll how start long, how long down. is this guy? This one here is probably about uh, about 12 foot. Not quite yet, mm -hmm. but, you know. But, yeah, even for my place, they had to do some new ordinances and stuff mm -hmm. because uh, I guess at one point, they didn't want pet stores in the downtown area here. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty stupid because there was a Woolworths here. There was a there was a pet store from the 50s here, but they made a rule in the 50s mm -hmm. that no more pet stores were supposed to be here. So they permitted me all these years to be mm -hmm. a block down the street in a uh -huh. small store. And now that I've moved into this one and expanded into a much bigger location, you know, they gave me a hard time. And mm -hmm. it was like now they're actually changing some of the laws and ordinances in our city, but everywhere they're starting to change reptile laws and ordinances because – Again, most of it's because of the fact that people are abusing their rights, you know. It's unfortunate, you know, what happened to Terry. I'm not even sure that the stuff was true or not. No, no, no. But, you know, things do get blown out of proportion. The news mm -hmm. gets a lot of the negative over the positive. Well, they yeah, they did an interview with me, too, mm -hmm. over him. And I wouldn't badmouth him because I didn't know the guy, yeah. you know. But other than that... You know, I, I feel bad because he seemed like a very uh, educated man. Oh, he was. And he knows more than I will ever know mm -hmm. already. You know what I, I mean? Think, I think what happened was, you know, um, this is barring the sexual assault thing, just, you know, when, when they saw some of these uh, uh, animals in, you know, if you want to say, state of disrepair or whatever. Right. I think maybe he just overextended himself. I think what it was, and this is how I stated it to the news, is, mm -hmm. you know, every, and just like you say, overextended over your head, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think what it was is he kind of let things go to someone else. You see, like, even yeah. myself, I've been doing this for many years, mm -hmm. and there isn't too many people that can do what I do because I don't get paid. And it's hard to and, say and, no. And, and, <laughs> and it's hard to say no. Yeah. And what I'm doing is I'm taking animals that are in disrepair for real, and mm -hmm. I'm turning them into animals again. Yeah. And it takes tons of money, tons of time, and tons of work. But with what I do is no one will do my job the way that mm -hmm. I do it. I work yeah. from, you know, the crack of dawn sometimes yeah. until the crack of dawn it's again. Lifestyle, yeah. And and unfortunately with what he was doing is as he let it get bigger for him and it mm -hmm. did, people started to believe I guess in him he was doing work with China and other places mm -hmm. to the point that uh you know, really people were donating money, big yeah. large amounts I heard to him and, and trying to set him up with different um different um how do you say it, uh ways to manufacture, reproduce, and help the ecosystem mm -hmm. with some of the animals that they were short, you know, some of the crocodilian and stuff, mm -hmm. especially with China. And I think what he did is he started really letting it get to his head mm -hmm. to the point of almost like, oh, well, I'm a Steve Irwin now, yeah. and someone else will take care of my park. And what he right. ended up yeah. doing was he left it to some woman, I guess, that was mm -hmm. running that building and apparently another building, their house full of them. And, again, one building is overwhelming for one person, oh, sure. even a guy like me that does it daily. Mm -hmm. But a guy like Terry, again, and myself, we get into a mode and we can do things. Yeah. And with him, he ended up that he put the job in someone's hands that shouldn't have had it. Mm -hmm. And, again, they're not motivated like us yeah. to push themselves to the point of exhaustion to finish what well, you got to do. Have, if you have volunteers, volunteers are at different levels. Some take it real seriously. Some, some, some just want to tell people, right. hey, I'll volunteer here. Right. And, 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 and really, with me, I, it took me a long time to let people even come in and volunteer because yeah. I've had a lot of people, you know, come in and act like they're my friend. Two seconds mm -hmm. later, they're on some Craigslist or something talking serious mumbo jumbo and it's all tr not true because yeah. I'm open to the public. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing this out of my house. You can yeah. come in any time. The cops can come in. The government can come in and they can check out what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You see places like even Terry's was closed off to the public. Yeah. When you do that like that now you're hoarding animals. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. again, if you ain't got proper licensing, and I don't know what he had, I don't know that you can have that many animals in a residence or a commercial property mm -hmm. without having 
a pet permit as the sale of pets or again rescue or again sanctuary however mm -hmm. you know I just think that he just put it in someone's hands one person it sounded right. like that just and had to have overstated places. himself yeah. lost, lost his original purpose so to speak you know and maybe like even myself I say if I ever got lucky and I build my park like I want to do, I want to build a park that will educate people and really make them think before mm -hmm. they buy it and show them examples just like we are with this snake. Yeah. You don't realize you buy this guy at a foot long at a local <laughs> pet store and he's all cute and cuddly. Oh, yeah. All of a sudden, six years later, 18 feet comes along because you're feeding them right like I am, yeah. big rodents that they're supposed to have or bigger prey items. And really, this will last him a month, month or two, you know. What is but that? That's an albino granite Burmese python. No, the other, the shit is Oh, uh, that's a rabbit. That's about a 15 pound rabbit. Yeah, he, he just squished it. Yeah, he's pretty. He's been working on it now about an hour. <laughs> what about yeah. on the air In my case, I should be selling hot dogs on some corner and making money because I'm good at that. 236 cents. My pleasure. I hope to meet you again. And you're more than welcome to come by any time just to hang out. I really appreciate it. That would be awesome. And another thing, too, if you want, if you don't mind, go online tonight. Google searches. Leave some reviews online. Tell folks how you feel about what I'm doing. You checked out my place, you know. So, God bless. Okay. Have an awesome day. Good luck with your, uh, your rescues. Awesome, man. Thank you.
Okay, bye for now.